Hey everybody, it's John here from Videomaniac.com. Here we are today back in Skylanders Giant, grabbing the Talker in a Strange Land achievement. This achievement is to talk to all of the Willikins in Chapter 7, Willikin Village. When you start the level, what you want to do is you want to head down here and activate this switch right here. This will get all of the Willikins to come to life because basically they are puppets. So you need to have them come to life in order to talk to them. There are going to be a lot of them in this level and this achievement is missable. So the first person you want to talk to is Livingston. He'll be right here after you activate the bridge. Make sure you talk to him. Then what you want to do is you want to head into town. They are going to get ambushed by some chompies and some goblins. Make sure you take care of them. And after you do that, this bounce pad should appear to the upper left. Then what you want to do is you want to talk to the mayor, so head on down here and talk to the dude with the top hat. His name will be Westminster. But uh, once you uh, talk to him, what you want to do is you want to head into the four houses. So you want to start off with the blue one. You want to talk to the two babies as well as the daycare lady. So talk to these two and then talk to the daycare lady. And then what you want to do is you want to head on outside and then you want to head into the house next door what you want to do is you want to talk to this guy he is going to tell you some stuff but most importantly you want to talk to this guy because you need to defeat him in a game of sky stones in order to unlock the key to progress in the level so he'll open up the gate grab the key and go out once you beat him in sky stones so hopefully you've been collecting some good cards but uh, head on outside, then what you want to do is you want to go across the way and head into this house. There will be two people in here. Make sure you talk to this lady right here. She'll tell you to go solve the puzzle in order to talk to the other person. So solve the puzzle, it's one of those uh, sliding puzzles. Pretty easy, but uh, once you get this open you can talk to the little girl in the back. And then what you want to do is you want to head back outside and then go next door. So we're going to leave, and then we're going to head on to the next door, and go in here to the building with the tree rex on it. There will be two guys in here. Make sure you talk to the guy with the hat, as well as this guy. And then what you want to do is you want to leave, and then head on to the fifth house. There's five houses in the main area, and there are going to be two on the upper part. So you want to talk to two guys in here. They don't have anything too special to him, so... Um, just uh, talk to them and leave and then head to the red house on the end of town so just head on up this will be the sixth house in town with some more people in here there are going to be two people in here they're kind of hard to see because of all the uh, flower pots but talk to her and then talk to her and then you can leave as you remember when you defeated the enemies a bounce pad appeared so you can use that and there is actually a house up here so make sure you take the bounce pad head up here and then talk to the people in here you can talk to this little girl she will challenge you to a game of sky stones you do not need to play this but uh, you know might as well anyways to uh, win some nice cards but uh, anyways once you talk to her make sure you talk to the dude across the table and uh, once you do that, you can leave, and then you can continue playing the level. So what you want to do is you want to go back to the middle of town. There is a switch there, which will put all of the Willikens to sleep. And therefore, you can have the ability to destroy the inanimate objects like brick walls and stuff. So take the bounce pad back up, and then break open the wall right here, and grab the second key. And you want to use both of these keys in order to open up the gates, in order to get up to the uh, next part. But before you do that, make sure you hit the switch again to get the Willikins back to life so you can talk to them and uh, progress the achievement. But you want to use the two keys over here and then pop open this gate. There will be a woman here, make sure you talk to her. You can also get some nice secret items if you own an Earth Skylander and head off to the right. Make sure you hit this switch to get to the brick wall turned into a breakable wall and then you got you are going to have some enemies here make sure you kill them and then hit the switch to get the uh, bridge back and we're gonna do that and that should turn the cardboard cutout into a bridge we can use now we're gonna head across here now we're gonna have a, a little puzzle with the bomb so you want to make sure you destroy everything to get the bomb symbols revealed what you want to do is you want to hit this switch in order to turn the 
brick wall into something that's breakable. Make sure you break it. You should also find a uh, bomb here. There are two doors you want to bomb down. So you have to roll the, bo uh, the uh, bomb into the two doors. There's one directly in front of you. You want to make sure you get that one. And then there's one off to the left that we passed earlier. So get that one and then roll this one off towards the left. Might take you a little bit of tries because uh, the momentum might carry it downhill. Just do your best to keep it away from the ledge and you should be good. Just keep nudging it forward and then blow up the wall. Now what you want to do is you want to head into the cave. Before you do that you want to make sure you flip the switch so all of the Wilkins come to life and you can talk to them. So head on in here. There should be another character you can talk to. So talk to Serafina and she'll tell you some stuff. There's nothing really interesting in that cave so you want to leave now. And now you want to head up the hill. There are going to be some chompies up here. Make sure you kill them. There is a pretzel in the corner if you need some health. But you want to keep heading uphill. There's going to be more chompies up here, so make sure you take them out. And there will be a battle gate up here, so after you take them out, it will open. And you can take the lift all the way down. You're going to have a little puzzle right here. It's pretty much all timing. I'm going to cut that out because it's uh, pretty easy. And uh, you're going to get to this part. You want to head into this cave. You're going to run into Serafina again. She'll tell you some more stuff. And now, what I recommend doing is heading on back outside and then flipping this switch. And that's why all of the bad magic can become good magic and it will allow you to pass without taking any damage. So head on back into the cave. As you can see, Serafina went to sleep and you can pass without getting hurt. In fact, you will get healed, which is even better. So go to the other side of the cave. You should be up here. What you want to do is you can go up there and get some treasure if you want to. But the main objective of the level is to head downhill. Make sure you clear it of all the enemies first. And then just roll the ball all the way downhill. There is a railing. So don't be afraid of uh, knocking the bomb off like earlier until you get to the very last part. But just nudge this into the door. It should blow up giving you access to the other part of town. Hit the switch to get the citizens to come back. And then what you want to do is you want to talk to this guy in the middle of town. It's going to be uh, Ericsson. And then what you want to do is you want to grab the key off to the vista right here. It's next to the fountain and the two benches. The nice view of the uh, Skylands. So grab that. And then what you want to do is you want to head into the buildings. Now the one on the left is going to be a store. You can go in there and buy some stuff. But the two you're going to worry about is the center one and the one on the right. So in here will be another little girl to talk to. Talk to her and then grab the key in the back room. This will be the second of the three keys you need to open up the next gate. When you leave this house you will get ambushed by the enemies. Make sure you take them out. That will make a bounce pad appear giving you access to the third key. But once you get the third key make sure you do not head into the gate just yet. Make sure you flip the switch because during the fight the switch should have gotten flipped by some chompies. But that will give you access to the third house. So make sure you go to the house off to the right and then once you are in here Make sure you talk to the two people in here. There's no one behind the gate, so you do not need to solve the puzzle unless you want to unlock a hat if you're still going for that achievement. But once you talk to those two, make sure you use the three keys and open up the gate. You should talk to your final person right before the final boss fight. You can grab some coins if you want to up here. But uh, most importantly, once you cross this bridge, if you talk to everyone, you should get the achievement for 40 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.